Hi, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome back to RZ Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Sis. This is our overall reading for the month of April. Let's go ahead and jump in, see what our overall energy is going to bring in for us. We've got two cards this month. We have our Empress upright with our Chariot card underneath upright. Our Chariot card, the one thing I want to say about our Chariot card, that's our Cancer energy. It's also the fourth house energy, um, which is our 2020 energy, overall collective energy for everyone. So, um, with the Empress coming in, you know, she's our Earth Mother. She's our big time mother. She's the environment that we create abundance from. She is about fertility. Uh, she's also a card about uh, nurturing. Uh, loving that mother energy but also motivation and inspiration so with the chariot card coming underneath her that is us um, taking control of our destiny actually taking control of the environment that's around us and what it's creating so yeah I like seeing that it, that has us very much in control and, and, and in a very nurturing, unconditional kind of loving energy. But we're also looking at the environment and how it's influencing our thoughts, our feelings, and how it influences everyone around us. Our strength for the month. We got quite a few cards that jumped out. We have our Six of Chalices upright. You know, this is our card about the past, our past. Past memories is a card of nostalgia, but it also can indicate children or people from our past. The next energy underneath that is the Eight of Wands. And our Eight of Wands is about things picking up momentum, moving faster. But it's also, when we get this card, uh, the Divine, our God's telling us to aim higher. Think outside the box. Don't think small and limit yourself to aim higher. And uh, with our Empress card, that, that's a good one. Any area of your life, anything you're trying to do, planning to do, uh, that is to, uh, our God's talents. It's going to be successful. So aim higher with what you're planting for the future. So to say, when it comes to our Empress, you're planting in her field of abundance and fertility and it's going to manifest for you. So, and then the next one, we have our four of chalices. Okay, and then uh, the underneath energy is the seven of wands. So, let's look at these. Let me lay these out and see if I can get a clear message here. So, with our four of chalices, coming with our six of chalices, this is sort of indicating for my Taurus that we're going, we're going to be making new friends, new social connections, but also some of the people from our past, some of our friends that we haven't talked to in a long time, acquaintances, acquaintances, I'll learn to speak one day, maybe not, but uh, people from our past may be showing back up for us this month, and um, this Eight of Wands is like, uh, it's picking up momentum for some reason, with the Seven of Wands, that is about uh, being able to overcome challenges, finding solutions to any obstacles that arise during the month. So, for my Taurus, it seems these cards seem to be saying we're going to be a like a support system for others during the month of April. Now, this could be like the emotional, mental support, that friendship, that social part of. And our Empress being that inspiration and motivation, that uh, nurturing energy that, uh, you know, calms calms people down. It's the, she's our mother energy that always, you know, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Calm down. Everything will be okay. So... It, that thing it, that's coming in as our strength of there's going to be a lot more people past and new with the four of chalices that's like new friends new acquaintances uh, new social connections coming in and our strength is being able to help others um 
with a diverse array of challenges because our seven of wands is uh, having that confidence and, and just the innate gift to overcome obstacles as they arise, so to say. So, yeah. Any challenges for us this month? We have our King of Athames upright with the underneath energy, the Ten of Wands. And that challenge for us during April is that we don't mentally exhaust ourselves. Uh, because our Ten of Wands is a card of being dedicated, persistent with things. And I think uh, it's going to be us helping others figure out some of their own uh, struggles and problems that the challenges they may be facing during this time. Uh, I think all my tours know what we're uh, on a collective level. Uh, everybody's having to make changes, so to say. And that 2020 energy, this chariot energy, is really pushing us on a global level for everyone in their personal life and also uh, for all of us on a collective level of how to come up with solutions for some of the issues that have arised for us. Um, yeah, it's just a time of change and really creating a new base, that uh, four energy, that cancer, a uh, new foundation, uh, new traditions, new routines and ways to handle things. So my tour seems to be very out front with your <clears throat> family, friends, social circles, uh, it, it's expanding, it's going to be expanding for you during the month of April with that four of chalices of new people coming in, uh, you, you know, new socializing and stuff, but also some of the, uh, past people from your past and things like that. Just don't mentally exhaust yourself because evidently your true innate energy in my Taurus are, is that steady, loyal, um, comforting energy that everybody runs for and grabs for during difficult times. So, and when you're, you've got that as your rising sign or your sun sign, even your moon sign, uh, people will, during challenging times, they will automatically be drawn to you, looking for you for that comfort and support. And sometimes all it is, is just being in your presence and in your calm, clear, practical thinking, uh, solution finding presence. It just, it comforts people. Your energy is going to comfort people. So, uh, this month I did not do uh, our actual financial money reading. I've done those in our bonus mid-month readings. So, if you want to uh, have the reading on your money and finances, jump over to that mid-month playlist and they're already out for the for the month but this is advice i've asked our guides our higher self to collaborate together and give us some advice for our our professional life our jobs and careers uh the first cards we've got we've got the horned god <clears throat> now i like him he's our emperor in regular tarot uh, very much will go with our empress over here, our overall energy. But uh, what's really playing on uh, this card in our Green Witch Tarot is he's just, he doesn't just build an empire. You know, in the regular tarot, he seems to just be sitting on a throne. Here, he brings us the message that he, uh, he is adaptable uh, and he brings that comfort and ease of of uh, the changing seasons of and it plays very much on which one was it our seven of wands of being able being that source that masculine source that confident source uh when people are having uh struggles and obstacles that arise suddenly so to say unexpected changes coming uh, he he shows sort of shows the way how to fit in and go with uh, nature in the way it's changing the world in the way it's changing around you but he's also that planning that building in that uh, structure and protection 
protection site that in our job career professional life is playing again on our innate energy towards of being that that source of strength for others that have others ground their self and feel like everything is going to be okay the underneath energy is the star energy and that is faith faith uh, but it's also a card tell, telling my taurus that um uh, you're headed in a direction of going through a fairy portal. That star, that seven-pointed star of uh, something has occurred in your in your professional life that's giving you an opportunity to uh, actually manifest the world, uh, the divine, the world, the creation, everything, uh, all the elements that come together to make that seven-pointed star to create a doorway for you to walk through into what it is you really want to manifest it's the star of hope but it's also is telling you right out in front of you is uh opportunity don't miss the opportunity so yeah i really like seeing that uh for my taurus but yeah it's that faith uh hope but it's also that sign from the divine of what you've been wanting what you're planning if you're planning something because the horn god is also a planner i mean he plans and he builds and he protects and he adapts so to say so just know if you've been uh working on something um planning something wanting to change wanting to transition expand something is coming it's absolutely coming. The next cards we've got on our business, job, career, life. We've got a two of wands upright. I like seeing this one because it's an indication. A lot of times it when I see it, the first thing it triggers is we're doing something on our own. It can be working from home, a side hustle, or using we're using uh, our skills and our talents uh, on our own to create a source of income. But it also brings a message that any worries and struggles, fears that we've had, that's past, we're past it now. We're, we've come into a, uh, a time when we have more freedom to think about our future, to actually put plans into action. But it's, it insinuates we've had some worries and fears in the past and we're moving past that. So, yeah. Then we have our witch card underneath which is the magician in regular tarot and that is uh very much a message of we are now in in a position where we can start taking control of our job career professional life and directing that energy directing our course in our path which where do we want to go with it the cards underneath we've got our uh two pages <clears throat> our page of athames and our page of pentacles Page of Pentacles has us honing some new skills, learning, studying. Could possibly have some of us going back to school or just taking courses, things like that. But it is learning new skills or honing your skills. Uh, the Page of Athames has us freed up. Our mind is freed up to uh, where we're uh, open to receiving new ideas. And actually starting to make plans. There's new thoughts. We're unlimited. It, it's insinuating. Uh, like I said, for some of us, we've had some fears, some some kind of struggle going on that sort of um, bound us up where we weren't really in a position to think creatively and outside of the box, so to say. With you know, we might felt restricted. With this uh, page of athames, that is, we've got new ideas and new thoughts, and we're ex we're coming out of that uh, restrictive mode and acting upon them. I like the page because it shows us actually acting upon what it is we're doing with the magician card, taking control of our destiny. Good reading for our professional life, and just know any anything you've been struggling with, worrying with, this card indicates that's that's. Uh, past we're now in a comfortable position to be able to express ourselves and think more creatively and it's like more hope our star card being in a position of having more hope let's come down here to our personal 
life. This covers our home, covers the people that live with us, but also our close friends and extended family. Uh, our first cards we've got, we've got uh, the love card. That's unconditional love. Very much goes with our overall energy of the Empress creating an environment that f is loving, nurturing, where everyone can grow unjudgmental, uh, take out any f fear thing like that, you know, anything that makes the environment uncomfortable. So, yeah, during April, our personal life, that's one of our main things to focus on. Love, unconditional love. Our next one, we got uh, Master Number 22. I love that one. Uh, intuition. So, Taurus, uh, we're going to be connecting and probably uh, the fact that we're up here in our professional life, like I said, we're come, coming past some of our own personal fears and things that have been holding us back. We're probably in more calm within ourselves to where we can act. We're actually going to be tapping into our intuition stronger than what we've been able to. Yeah, and our next card, uh, personal growth. Absolutely, yeah. So, month of April, it has us uh, expanding, evolving, and uh, transitioning into uh, a new phase, new growth, personal growth. The cards we've gotten with it, let's pull our, or our tarot cards. We've got the suspended person, the hangman. Underneath him is the star card reversed. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, because we got our star card up here uh, upright. So that again is uh, saying that we're getting, we're, it's like a pause with that suspended person. Um, uh, seeing things, we might be in an uncomfortable uncomfortable position but we're seeing things from a different perspective and the personal growth the fact that we got personal growth that star card reversed is us looking at where we haven't had faith and not trusting in the next card we've got the medicine wheel so this is saying we're getting a different perspective to see where we lack faith and trust in bringing something full circle and that is knowing that the universe is working with us and for us, that the divine, that our God's, the unseen realm works for us to help us complete things, to bring things to full circle. Uh, the fact this medicine, well, it can also insinuate a healing, healing on a uh, physical level. It can be just a healing in circumstances. That, you know, things we've been struggling with may feel like the universe was, you know, not working with us. That the divine was, you know, causing us problems. The underneath, underneath energy is the king of pentacles. And it's indication that we've had some uh, lack of faith. We've getting to see things from a different perspective when it comes to being able to manifest resources, finances, tangible things that we need uh the fact that we've been through what we've been through i like seeing the fact that the king of pentacles comes up because it's indication we've come past that uh issue that problem we are now sitting in a more saged experienced position and in that king of pentacles of of knowing we've got experience and we also know we've got new knowledge so to say, when it comes to uh, manifesting resources and the tangible things that we need, income, things like that. So, yeah, in our personal life, we're seeing things from a different perspective. And I really think, like I said, with the star card, even though it's reverse, it's indication we've lost in the past. We've lost and the month of April is uh, actually going to give us our faith our trust back in the unseen, in our guides, in the universe, that um, things actually do work out for people for the best, even when you go through rough times. And I really think that's part of what we're being called on for for others during the month of April, to be that support system for them. 
The next card we have is Healer of Thought. Yeah. Absolutely. With that uh, hangman and that reverse star, Healer of Thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in the situation is wise, insightful, and caring has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. Absolutely. That's our, it's pinging on the personality of our King of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, and, and the Horn God. But also, like I said, we've got life experience that we need to share with others. It's going to be a, like, comfort and support when we share some of our own experience our own past experiences that six of chalices also past experiences share that with others it would give them hope and comfort the next one is six of thought peaceful times are on the horizon the storms have passed and now you can see that your destination is within sight the stress in your life will begin to fade away allowing for happier times it may be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country now Taurus I always tell everyone with this card that last line if it does not resonate that you're going to take a trip to another country or over water it can be symbolic of um, <clears throat> overcoming some of our emotions and uh, that we get attached, you know, the emotional attachment to making changes. The, the Another country is like foreign, the unfamiliar. It's actually taking that trip, that journey into our uncomfortable emotions that arise with unfamiliar circumstances so to say so yeah like i said i really think for us it's really pointing out peaceful times are on the horizon and like like i said i really think we're going to be a support system for others during the month of april our next one nine of abundance life is wonderful your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment yeah that's our two of wands. Hard work. <laughs> yeah. Mental, uh, emotional work. Being in a be better position knowing that it's provided you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. Yes, self-love pamper yourself you've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy absolutely this is what i was saying and that's showing up in our professional but also our personal life we've overcome some issues that we've had and we're rebuilding our faith when it comes to knowing the resources that the uh, finances that we needed that things actually do work out sometimes for us when we're going through challenging times you know we lose that faith and it's like oh god nothing ever works out I think this is our month for us to turn that around and know things do work out for us our next one I've asked our higher selves to collaborate here to get together and our guides and give us advice on our social life one thing that's important for us to know about our social life. We had quite a few cards jump out here. We have our Two of Cups. Hmm. And with our Two of Cups, that is a love and energy. When I look at this card, what's really standing out is the embrace they're in. It's a comforting kind of hug. The next card is the Four of Cups. We've got that one up in our strength. That was showing a new people coming in into our you know new friends new social connections the next one is the mm, four of pentacles yep four of pentacles reversed mm. that's uh worry stress over not having finances uh financial issues resource issues a lack 
sort of, you know, that has us worrying and focusing and obsessing over it. The next one is the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Our Page of Wands is about seeing opportunities. Being ambitious, uh, optimistic, and yeah, the next one, the Nine of Swords. So, mm, when it comes to our social life, like I said, I really think for my Taurus, we're going to be a source of comfort to others that are that actually uh, the the people that we're going to be hearing from during the month of April. They're focused in on negative stuff. They're obsessed and worrying about income resources, how to bring those in, and we're going to be to them uh, that source of optimism uh, that reignites their, uh, bring them to a calm state, sort of say, with that embrace, that hug, and uh, ignites their ambition and their, their belief, I don't know how else to put that, that things are going to work out and help them overcome some of their anxiety, stress, and fear. So, yeah, um, that seems to be the important thing about our social life is that uh, the divine is going to use us. Like I said, people are going to start being drawn to all my Taurus because you are that steady, grounding energy that brings that sense of comfort to everyone. And that seems to be what our social life is going to be for the month of April is a lot of giving people hope and comfort. Uh, being that love and nurturing energy that, and that reassures people everything's okay. <laughs> you know, you, there's a, <clears throat> always a solution. We also got the, the seven of wands. A lot of people might be asking us advice on how to overcome some of the challenges and deal with some of the things they're having to deal with in their life. So, yeah, just know you're going to be called on for your Taurus energy this month. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and look at our, our love life, our intimate personal relationships. A lot of times this one doesn't resonate with my singles. I'll have an extra video just for my singles love lives. We got uh, quite a few cards on this one. So let's try to get them all in here. I'll pull them over. Uh, the card we got that says the tempo and the, en the energy over our love life in uh, intimate relationship. We've got a leap of faith. This is like our full card in the tarot, and it's taking a leap of faith, having the confidence, but it's also new beginnings. Um, the next energy, we have our prince, princess of pentacles. Beside her, hmm, we have our prince of pentacles. I like this. That's our page and our knight of pentacles. And with our pentacles, you know, they do everything practical, slow, and steady. My Taurus energy. So, in our love life, our intimate relationships, uh, this seems to be indicating, for some of us, we might actually be starting over on a relationship, deepening a relationship, or expanding a relationship. You know, if we're not in a committed relationship, April may be the month that we actually make a commitment to each other. But we're doing it slow and steady. Persistent. I, I like the fact it's pentacles, but it's insinuating we're not just thinking about it. We're actually doing it. Uh, the next card we've got is our six of wands. And that is calm thoughts and moving into uh, calm, peaceful, harmonious times. Away from any stormy waters. The next card we've got our judgment card, which actually is... Goes very much with our leap of faith, our full card, so to say, in in this deck of we're starting over again. Our uh, relationship is changing the dynamics up of uh, more commitment and and doing it on a practical level, but also can insinuate the fact we've got the six of swords that we might be reconciliating so to say, with that judgment card, because it is rebirth, redoing things, uh, coming back to life. The card underneath all of it is the, 
three of wands i like that one because it's working flowing together and um looking at the positive side of the, of everything in the relationship rather than looking at the negative stuff in the relationship so more than likely the majority of my Taurus, we are actually um giving a relationship another chance growing stronger closer together making commitments uh, like I said, with the bringing something back to life, and uh, it's working out, actually working out. But mm, I like seeing the fact that we're taking our time and being going slow, and we're being practical about what we're doing. Sometimes our leap of faith in our full card can insinuate we're being risky and, and need to slow down. But no, I think our my Taurus is practical as always. Of they know they're confident in what they're doing and grounded in what they're doing when it comes to the personal relationship. But it does insinuate uh, if we're having rough times in a relationship, that's changing for us. Okay, our next cards. I've asked the universe, the divine, our guides, is there anything for my Taurus to know? Any one thing in particular for my Taurus to know for the month of April that will benefit the, benefit all of us at, that will be something that you know you can if it's something devastating can you you know do you need to know so that you can make changes and change the course of things most important thing for us to know we've got our world card we got that one in the personal life the medicine wheel so we've got more completion we've got the death card changes we're uh think some things have come full circle for us and we're making changes uh the next card we've got our queen of cups which has us being an emotional support system that's what our queen of cups does she is that emotional support system for our other people and then we have our five of chalices emotional support system for other people that are not focusing on their blessings that are looking at everything going wrong it's our card of grieving and not being able to count your blessings being in that phase of loss or temporary loss where you just can't see any positive so that seems to be the thing that uh our your higher self the divine your guides wanted to say this month things have uh, come full circle there's a lot of changes that's been made not only in our personal life but in in what's going on around us in the world in our social circles and we're going to be an emotional support system for others that are grieving and don't have any hope so yeah our oracles we're using the moonology we have a uh, void of course moon uh, nothing will come of this situation so considering we're um, that are in fear that are thinking the worst worst possible scenario this seems to be saying to us we're going to be reassuring people that there were when it comes to their worst fears nothing's going to come of it so yeah the void of course moon fears aren't going to play out our next one we have full moon in capricorn the end of a tough cycle approaches i think we can take that on a personal level to my taurus uh, we've come through some stuff ourselves, and we're now in a position that others are pulling on us to reassure them the end of a tough cycle approaches and then our next one is new moon in aquarius i like this one bring love into the situation bring love into every situation with our empress yeah love that nurturing mothering love sometimes that's she's also a kick butt just know that if somebody is just uh, going a little muck with uh that void of course Kick them in the butt and tell them to get up and quit worrying. Everything's going to be okay. Give them that tough love. Okay, let's go ahead and get our oracle cards. Our first one 
We have the universe has my back. That's your mantra. The universe has my back. And that very much goes with our personal life of rebuilding our faith and trust that the divine, our guides are helping things work out and always guiding us in a good direction. The universe has my back. The next one is my vibes speak louder than my words. Absolutely, Taurus. Your Taurus vibes are going to attract a bunch of people to you. The people that really need your energy. It's your vibe, not your words. You just remember that because part of our challenge is not to exhaust ourselves on a mental level thinking we've got to come up with solutions for everybody. It's simply your vibe. It's just who you are naturally. You draw people in. They just want to be in your presence. Yeah. And then our last one, my Taurus. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. I think this one pinged very much on our intimate love life relationship. Uh, yeah. Newness. Taking a leap of faith. Restarting with the judgment card. Yeah. By seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So, yeah. Okay, Taurus, I want to wish you a very blessed, beautiful month of April. But I also want to uh, send you blessings for inner strength, for courage, for wisdom, confidence, and the faith you need because a lot of other people are going to be pinging on your vibe. So, yeah. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you next time. Bless be.